What is going on, everybody? Look, I'm not a financial advisor. My job is to bring you information and allow you to do your own research to investigate and see whether or not that adds up to you or not. I'm about to show you one that I'm going to give you some speculation from other people about what is about to happen. Now, I do have some insider knowledge. The insider knowledge that I have is limited. I don't have... You know, I can't tell you something magical or, or incredible is about to happen. I can show you a chart. I can show you what's going on. I can show you that, you know, I can show you what uh, should happen on a chart. Uh, but I can't tell you that, you know, I, I can't tell you what will happen. Okay. Um, but let's check this out because this is very interesting. Guys, you know I love this project. And I'll, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be completely upfront with you guys to let you see what it is that I'm holding on to. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the Devi chart right now. Uh, you can see it's trading at 27.11 cents. Uh, up a little bit on the day. It's got about $100,000, $150,000 in trade volume coming through almost every day. Now, if you were to zoom in here and we do that a little bit, you can see that it's starting to have a little bit of a breakout uh, to get to uh, off of this dip here. But it's just coming back into range. This is not a big deal, which is not why I'm not going to focus on it. It's still going to have to break out of the 200 MA, which it struggled to do a couple of times. So once we get over the 200 MA, you know, you might see a little bit of a spike, but I don't know yet. We're, we're going to keep that close to the vest. Now, what do I have? Uh, so right here, you can see I have 5,000 Debbie that I've got staked. Uh, the unstake is ready. So uh, I'm, I'm waiting for um, you know <laughs> what my next step is on this just so you guys can see it i want to i want to be fully transparent with you uh, about what's going on and then over here on my tokens uh, i'm going to show you guys what i have here too i have 62,500 fias tokens i have 14,775 available to me now part of this pre-sale was there was a vesting process so uh, i'm vested in it for 150 days so 345 uh, fias per day is what i get so you know if it was a dollar 345 dollars a day but it's not so you know just messing around but um so i'm deep into this i i, I think this is uh, a great project i think this is a great team i think this is uh, an incredible opportunity for me and you as an investor if you decide that you like the white paper if you like everything that you see here devi is a permissioned blockchain with something big happening and let me show you this uh roger is um one of the whales that's in there and he talks a lot about Debbie all the time makes some videos stuff like that now his price prediction for Debbie going December 31st is ten dollars now that is about uh, you know I want to say 30x from 40x from from where it is right now 35 40x a uh, guess he doesn't know that it's going to be ten dollars or not right he has no idea whether that is or is not the case so I don't want to tell you that there, there, you know, there's going to be some kind of wild, crazy price here. Uh, this is wishful thinking for the moment. But let's move on a little bit. $1 Devi by the end of July. Something big is cooking. Make sure you follow the announcement channel. Now, the announcement channel is right here. So this announcement channel, the, the first batch of Genesis NFTs were just distributed. And you can go check. By the way, they have a wallet available for you to, to use on Glassblock. Dot io and that's where you uh, approve getting the nfts as well uh there and, and if you did try to do it on a different wallet then you're gonna have to wait until the next minting which should be on monday but if you were part of the process and you got uh, a genesis nft then there you go uh that that's where you're gonna get it but this is where it all happens right uh, so this is uh this is an announcement that came on june 28th to streamline our communication they were gonna break some stuff out dev e which is going to serve as the main X account for the Forever Association and Debbie. Then you have the Debbie Launchpad, which, you know, that's something different. It's part of the same ecosystem, but it's different. Then you have the Debbie Exchange, which is going to be a different account here. And then you have Litcraft DFE. Uh, Litcraft is where the FIAS token gets used. So there's announcements that continue to come out of this. And any second now, any moment now, any day now, I expect that there's going to be something big that we're not thinking about that's going to be announced. Do I have any evidence to back this up at this point? I do not. I do not. But I've been hearing rumblings. I've been hearing rumblings for a while that something is coming. And they can't talk about it. And they certainly can't talk about it to me until, you know, they can't tell anybody, in fact, until, you know, everything is uh, I's are dotted, T's are crossed, whatever, 
it is that they're doing, they're going to do. But here's the thing. A permission blockchain is exactly what every business in the world currently needs in order to transact amongst themselves and in order to create a gaming ecosystem, in order to create a business ecosystem, in order to create a financial ecosystem. They need a permissioned blockchain. DevE, the DevX blockchain, is that permissioned blockchain. It settles up to 8 million transactions per second. You don't need 8 million transactions per second for anything at this point, but you might. And the cool part is, you're not subject to, you're not going to be the validator on, you're not going to create your own node. The, the permission blockchain means they're going to create their own nodes for settlement, which means I have nothing to do with you. But here's the thing. That means that this is going to be leased out and that this is going to be something that's going to create real world money for a project. And if you're not bullish on real world money being implemented into a project, then you're not thinking clearly about what you should be invested in. And this is just my opinion. This is not me telling you good, bad, or indifferent. If you like Ethereum, continue to like Ethereum. Ethereum is a great project. Uh, if, you, if you like Solana, continue to like Solana. Solana is a great project. But Dev E and the Dev X is something different. It is what businesses need. And there's businesses that are going to adopt it. There's governments that are probably going to adopt it. And they're going to pay for it. And that money, that money is going to matter in this ecosystem. At some point, maybe there'll be some buybacks. Maybe there'll be some burn. Maybe there'll be whatever. There's value to this blockchain. And I want you, I'm going to challenge you, go read the white paper. I'm going to challenge you to go check it out. I'm going to challenge you to go you know, look for yourself and let me know what you think. There are questions that everybody's going to have. <clears throat> One of the questions was, why was it launched on the Ethereum blockchain if it's its own thing? And the answer to that was to raise capital so that it can continue to do business. It's been in business since 2018. Uh, it's six years in the making. It's launched. It's active. It's ready to go. And now they're launching this on Ethereum uh, as a presale because they were raising capital. Same thing for FICE. They're raising capital. Now, by the way, while we're at it, let's go take a quick look. Okay, so this is LitCraft. And there are a bunch of different games that you can play, but you're going to have to dig in. We're going to keep digging. And you're looking to harvest resources. Now, the, the stronger you get, the more resources that you're going to be able to uh, do. You can't do rock. You're going to have to do just the ground at first. Then you have to, you're, you're going to have to continue to, to, to get yourself resources and build up your strength in order to do something else. Now, um, you do have Lit Legion, you've got Lit Land, those are coming soon, but then you've got Heptone Battle, Red Gems, Pickaxe, which we were playing just now. Uh, then you've got Bully Balls TD, uh, which is Tower Defense, by the way, Hepta Vita, Lit Merge, Lit Farming, Cube, Fruit, Textiles, uh, Menti Words, Bee Ball It, uh, Flappy Light Lit Pet, uh, you've got Hotto Dash, you've got Spirital Race, then you've got the Hepta Bump and the Impedal Breaker. So if you are looking for something, here you go. Uh, so now with this one, you haven't chosen a pack to play with. Okay, so we've got our starting deck, right? Now here you can choose from your deck uh, for the ones that you want. And of course, each one of them is going to be just a tower of some sort for you to defend. Let's take it a step further. Uh, we're going to back up just a little bit more. And you've got Red Gems. You've got Heptone Battle. You've got Lit Farming, Lit Merge, Heptone Battle. Uh, now, I haven't downloaded this, but it's a, a PvP fighting game. So you'll be able to battle each other for supremacy, if you will. Uh, then you got Litris, which is basically a Tetris clone of sorts. You start it. Yeah. Woo. Oops. Now, if you're telling yourself, hey, Believes, you really suck at this game. It's my goddamn game. I can I can suck at it if I want to. But, you know, the point is, there's plenty of games. There's plenty for you to do over here on LitCraft. You can come in here and you can start playing any one of these. Playing for crypto. Your FIAS is what you pay for everything with. This is, the entire experience here is based on mining, farming, equipment, and efficient. So you can take all of this stuff and you can create stuff with it. And then once you create that stuff, you can then sell it and boom, you know. Uh, so this is just the first step in the whole user experience for the LitCraft experience. And it's only going to build from there. It's only going to get better 
from there. New games are going to be constantly added. New ways to to earn. New ways to yield are going to constantly be added. So um, you should be checking out the Devi ecosystem if you haven't already. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you that I showed you that I'm a I'm a holder. I'm a big fan of the Devi ecosystem. I encourage you to go check it out. If you like it, if you agree with me, then certainly um, check it out. Make sure that you're invested properly if you decide to do that, if you've uh, chosen your risk. But, you know, Roger thinks a dollar by the end of July, which is 32 days from now. And that's about a 4x from where we currently are. Uh, it'd be a nice little rip for anybody. Uh, if it goes further, awesome. Uh, if it doesn't quite get there, but you're still in profit, cool. Uh, no matter what, you should certainly check it out because at some point there's going to be an announcement that's going to set this thing alight. And when it goes, I think it's going to go parabolic. Now, it'll take a long time to, to, to really, I think, get <laughs> to, to the craziness of you know some of these blockchains. But it's coming, I think. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.